Hi everyone, my name is Dale Kirby. I'm a cloud solution architect with Microsoft. And today I'm gonna to demonstrate how we can integrate Azure Automation Update Management with Azure Arc enabled servers. If you enjoy this kind of content and you wanna see the latest and greatest Azure Arc demos like this one, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. So for today's demo, I'm gonna be using the enable update management scenario from the Azure Arc Jumpstart. So everything we show you in the demo today, you can do on your own just by following through the guidance in this scenario here. It's got step-by-step -step instructions and it's got associated automation that I'll show you that you can use to do this on your own. So let's take a look first at the Azure portal and you can see that I've already got an existing Azure Arc enabled server in this resource group. And so you can see the name of my Azure Arc enabled server is arc-ec2-demo. And this is actually an EC2 instance that I'm projecting into Azure as an Azure Arc enabled server. So if I switch over to EC2 console, I can see the, um, that server here in EC2. This is, happens to be a server that's running Ubuntu. And because I've deployed the Azure Connected Machine Agent on this server, it's now projected into Azure. It's a first class Azure resource. And as such, I can easily do things like deploy extensions and uh, enable solutions like update management to help me manage critical security patches and other updates on the server. So let's take a look now at the automation that we'll be using to deploy the update management solution on this server. So, I've gone ahead and I've cloned down the Azure Arc Jumpstart repository to a local folder. You can see it in VS Code here. And I've, I've opened the update management folder and I've got the law-template.json ARM template open and its associated parameters file. So if we quickly take a look at this template, what this ARM template is doing is it's going to deploy a log analytics workspace and it's going to enable the update management solution on that workspace and then it's going to go ahead and add the Azure Arc enabled server that we specify uh, as enabled for the update management solution. So just taking a look here at the solution, you can see it's deploying a number of resources in Azure, including the, the workspace, uh, an automation account, the update management solution, and then it's doing a little bit of work to enable the update management solution on the Azure Arc enabled server that we specify. If I take a look at the parameters file, there's a couple of parameters we do need to specify. One is a workspace name. I've gone ahead and put in a workspace name already. Uh, note that the workspace name does need to be globally unique. Uh, there's also a SKU that will leave default. We'll give the name for our automation account that's necessary to create the update management solution. And then I'll plug in the values of my existing Azure Arc enabled server and its resource group. So this is the same server we saw earlier in the Azure portal. Uh, and the resource group that it lives in. Okay, so our next step in the demo, we will open up a terminal and we'll deploy the template that we just looked at using AZCLI. So uh, you see in this terminal, I've already got the folder from the jumpstart with the update management template uh, open. If I take a look inside that folder, we can see the template that we looked at and the parameters file. And our first step, we're going to create a new Azure resource group for this deployment. I'll just paste in a command. You can see I'm just running AZ group create. I'm giving it a name of Arc Update Management Demo in a location of West US 2. So that went ahead and created a new resource group for me. And the next step we will do is to create the deployment using this command. So we'll do az deployment group create. We'll give it the resource group we just created and we'll pass in the template file and the parameters file uh, that, have our, um, that have our ARM template and associated parameters. So we'll go ahead and let that run. Once this is finished running, we will be able to check, see that our log analytics workspace was deployed along with the update management solution and the Azure Arc enabled server connected to that workspace and to that update management solution. Okay, so it looks like our deployment finished running. 
successfully. So our next step is going to be to go back to the Azure portal and we'll just take a look at the resources that were created. Go into uh, the resource group that we created. Press the resource groups here. I'll go into Arc Update Management Demo. And I can see here the resources that we created as part of the deployment. So we have a log analytics workspace, we've got an automation account, and we've got the um, update management solution that we've deployed. So now that we've got these solutions deployed, we can go ahead and click down into the update management solution. And we should be able to see that there are some servers, or there should be one server, in this case, the Azure Arc enabled server. Um, Looks like it's been assessed since it's a new server. It doesn't need any updates at this time. Uh, but if I click down into the update management blade, we can get a little bit more detail on uh, uh, you know, what's in this update management solution. So we can see here, we've got the Azure Arc enabled server. It's not missing any updates at this, this time, but as updates come out, whether those are critical security updates or other types of updates, uh, they'll show up here and we'll be able to start doing things like automatically applying patches uh, on a preset schedule or on demand if needed um, to our, our Azure Arc enabled server. So I hope that you've been able to uh, in, enjoy the video and understand a little bit more about how we can leverage solutions like Azure Automation Update Management with Azure Arc enabled servers. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.